So with the hot and cold pull, we're going to be using this when we run into issues such as under extrusion, so we don't have material coming out of the nozzle as we'd expect, or maybe we're going to go from a hot material to a cold material. Maybe we've put something through like CPE or ABS, or maybe even a flexible material, and we're going to go back to PLA, just to make sure that everything is as completely clean as it can be, and then we can start to run through that material with very little concern of any extrusion issues. Now the process works slowly by us heating up the nozzle and we're going to go through pushing some material through and then pulling that out while it's still hot. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to cut that off until we can get some material that's coming through the nozzle relatively clean. Then what we're going to do is we're going to push the material through and cool it down inside the print head and then we're going to pull that out to give us what we call a cold pull, which would then hopefully look like the inside of the nozzle and we can also use a different colour material for this so that we can see a high contrast in material that's been previously printed with and the material in which we're using to clean. So let's have a deep dive and see that process in action. The first thing we want to be looking at with this is to move the print head to the front corner of the machine. The main reason for this is so that we don't put any excess pressure on the axis bars and cause them to bow, which would cause us some issues in terms of printing long term. The next thing we're going to do is set the temperature on the screen. In order for us to set the temperature on the machine correctly, what we're going to do is go into the maintenance menu, which is the second icon down, set the nozzle temperature, and then we're going to start to heat the nozzle. Okay, so it's set at 75 degrees as standard, so we're going to take that up to approximately 250, maybe 260. So we can use those plus 10 and plus 1 degree increments. And the reason we're going to go to about 250 or 255 in this case is so that we can get quite hot, so any material that's in there is going to become really malleable. Once the nozzle's up to temperature, what we're then going to do is take off this little clamp clip here, again being careful not to make it fall down there. We'll still that just on top of the machine here. And we're going to push down on the collar and pull the tube out so that we can then start to pull, so we can then start to push the material through. So now we're at temperature, what we're now going to do is push the material through. Now it's really important that you use a different colour material to what we've been printing with previously. So we've now got green material coming out of the nozzle, so we're going to use silver in this case to clean it out. So what I'm going to do is again straighten off that material just to make it pass through quite nicely. You don't want to put too much pressure on this until we know that we're in the nozzle because sometimes we can cause some deformation to some of the other parts inside there. Just going to give that some small negotiation through there. Again, maybe a little bit of a wiggle, sometimes a turn. And you can see we've got the green material transitioning through and we're going to wait until we get some silver material coming out. That then indicates that the fresh material is down at the nozzle. So we're very slowly starting to get that transition there. And what we're going to do is do a quick and sharp pull up. So on here, as we've done the pull out there, we've got a little bit of the green material, but also mostly silver. So we're going to repeat this a couple more times until what we're pulling out is completely silver. And then we're going to go into the cold pull. So let's cut this end off and let's retry that. Okay, so we're going to push through again, we're straight into the silver, build up a little bit of pressure and quick and sharp pull back. So again, what we've got here is a nicer shape that actually looks like the inside of the nozzle nearly. But again, we've still got some green material. So we're going to repeat that again a couple more times. So what we've now got here is material that is completely silver. So what we're now going to do is go in to do the cold pull. So with the cold pull, what we're going to do is we're going to push the material through like we do with the hot pull. What we're then going to do is make sure we've got a nice steady stream of material flowing through. And then what we're going to do is use the dials on the screen and turn that down to 90 degrees to the desired temperature. And what we'll find is that as it starts to cool down, it'll become more and more difficult to push the material through. When we get to about the 170 degree mark, we can release the pressure, but it's really important that the material stays inside the print head. So we hit about 170 degrees there, so we're just going to release the pressure, but leave the material sat inside there while it stabilises down to 90 degrees. So as you can see there, as we're cooling down, we have the desired temperature on the right and the current temperature on the left. So we're looking for both of those to equal the same. And again, we can do minus 10, minus 1, plus 1, plus 10 increments. Now we've stabilised at 90 degrees, what we're then going to do is pull this material out. Now you can use pliers for this bit if you find it easier. What we're going to do is just do a quick sharp pull up. We want to get the nice amount of pressure on this so we can see exactly the shape of the inside of the nozzle. If we get this wrong, we're going to have to repeat this process. So we should do a quick sharp pull up. So as you can see now, we've got the cold pull. We've got a nice shape of the inside of the nozzle. And we, want, we don't want this to be elongated or snapped off here in any way, shape or form. So as long as we get this and there's no other colours involved, then that makes us ready to print and reload the material in. So we're going to set the temperature back down to zero. And then what we're going to do is just reinsert the tube into the top here. 
reinstall the collet clip. And that's the hot and cold pull all boxed off. So that's the hot and cold pull. As long as we do the hot pull first and the cold pull second, and we get that nice, clean, crisp tip that we just saw in the video, then you can guarantee your nozzle's as clean as it can possibly be, so you, you can be confident in that next print that you're gonna hit off.